Welcome to lesson number 12. Today's lesson is entitled, Jesus Christ, True Man. Today's key question is, how do we know that Jesus Christ is true man? This is the exact same picture that we had during Lesson 11's video. It's a picture of Jesus Christ. The reason that we have the exact same picture is because Jesus Christ is 100% true God, but he is also 100% true man. Many times during church, we speak about Jesus' horrible death. Jesus' death was horrible because it was so painful. It was a slow and terrible death. People made fun of him as he died. He had nails driven into his hands and to his feet. It was truly an unfair death. He was totally innocent of all of the things that he was being accused of. He was being punished for the sins of all people. Some people ask if Jesus really felt the pain of crucifixion, since he is God. The answer is most definitely yes. He felt the pain. He is God, but he is also true man. Today's church word is 100% true man, because Jesus Christ is 100% true man. This is just a reminder to remember in your brains that this doesn't make any sense. But Jesus Christ is 100% true man, and he is also 100% true God. Today's takeaway starts off with God's word calls Jesus Christ man. There are a few sections of scripture which give us a clear description of Jesus that says very clearly he is a man. The key passage with this point is 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 5. Here Timothy writes, For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Jesus Christ. The passage very clearly says, the man, Jesus Christ. Our next main point is God's word tells us that Jesus Christ was born of a woman and that he has a body and soul. Galatians chapter 4 verse 4 says, But when the time had fully come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under law, to redeem those under law that we might receive the full rights of sons passage tells us that God's son was born of a woman. You know that woman's name. Mary was certainly blessed to be the mother of Jesus Christ. But she's no different than you and I. She's sinful. She was sinful from birth. She sinned every day of her life. God gave her the special blessing that she would be the mother of Jesus. But that's all that she is. The mother of Jesus, someone who is blessed but still a sinner, not someone who we should worship or pray to. Our last main point is God's word tells us that Jesus Christ felt and did things that are normal for human beings. Jesus Christ wept at the loss of a loved one. When Jesus Christ was feeling afraid, before he went to the cross, he sweat, drops of blood. When Jesus was hungry, we're told that he felt hunger and he was thirsty. All of those things point to the fact that Jesus did things that you and I do. He slept, he ate, he drank, he cried. Jesus was 100% human. And now for today's key Bible passages, Galatians chapter 4, verse 4, John chapter 11, verse 35, and Mark chapter 4, verse 38, and 
John chapter 19, verse 28.